shoulder pain. Why is it not going away? One day, you might have hurt your shoulder from, say, lifting heavy boxes, or you might have had a constant ache in your shoulder that just doesn't seem to be getting any better. The shoulder is a complex area of the body that often requires a bit of detective work to identify the root cause of pain. Now here are some of the factors that can lead to shoulder pain. In younger people, shoulder pain is generally associated with shoulder instability, especially for those who frequently participate in overhead sports, such as tennis, American football. Typically, previous injuries to the ligaments or muscles of the shoulder can lead to partial or full dislocation of the shoulder. So it is crucial to have proper management of the shoulder to prevent any sort of injuries to the shoulder complex. Shoulder biomechanics, strength, and kinesiology are a few of the many factors that we consider when assessing shoulder pain, and also to prevent injuries. The phrase prevention is better than cure applies perfectly to the case of shoulder injuries. One of the most common areas of shoulder pain in the middle age population lies within the rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff muscles are almost constantly working during any shoulder movement as they reinforce the stability and mobility of your shoulder. The pain often results from overuse or demanding activities, but sometimes it can just come for no apparent reason. In this case, performing overhead activities or even trying to raise your arm can be painful. Another common cause of shoulder pain in middle-aged people is joint-related, and this is what we call a frozen shoulder. Initially, this is a very painful condition and movement can be significantly limited. In older people, you may also experience age-related changes in your shoulder, which can limit movement of the joint and cause pain. Early intervention in these problems have been shown to significantly improve pain and quality of life, which is exactly what we offer here at Sundown. Now, you might be asking, should I see a GP for my shoulder pain? If you have any of the symptoms around your shoulder, such as a redness with fever, swelling or lump, or it looks different after an injury, seek medical help as soon as possible. Otherwise, it is best to see a physiotherapist here at Sundown for an assessment of your shoulder. Now, you now might be asking, how do we manage your shoulder pain here at Sundown? Here at Sundown, we believe everyone's body works differently, which is why we always outline a treatment plan specifically tailored to you. During the initial assessment of your shoulder, we look at other parts of your shoulder, such as the neck, your back, your shoulder blades, as they are all commonly associated with shoulder pain. Then, we provide a diagnosis and a comprehensive treatment plan to progressively get your shoulder back to normal again. If your goal is to be pain-free, doing your normal activities that you would do daily without any problems, we could help with that. If your goal is to prehab your shoulder for an upcoming competitive sports season, we can also help with that. Thank you.